Start eighth the lever, their dispatch from the 1600 metre marker. Isla Morado was slow to go. Stormborn Thunder's right there. Joe Mambo is one of the trailers along with American Princess. The widest of all is Imperial Royal. And that is trying to overcome the draw to lead it. Stormborn Thunder's right there. Through the trees is the white sleeves and cap amongst the leading group. Bell Jars further back, then Flaming Desire. La Bastide is on the outside of Winter Retreat. Then comes Bint El Malak. That's giving him about six or seven lengths start. Ariana Spinner is further back in the run. Then Fire Fairy, Joe Mambo. She's a rock star. Isla Mirada, call me tonight. An American princess, 12, 13 lengths off the leader. Imperial Royal, a length and a quarter as they go to the 700. Stormborn Thunders at the rail. Through the trees, Flaming Desire. Then comes Bell Jar Winter Retreat. La Bastide on the outside. Bint El Malak, Arana Spinner's got about six or seven lengths to make up. Fire Fairy and then Joe Mambo. Top of the lane, 500 metres to go. And the leader's still Imperial Royal. Down the inside, Stormborn Thunder, Bell Jar, Winter Retreat, Flaming Desire. Through the trees are still right there. Fire Fairy's trying to put in a claim. Then Bint El Malak. 200 to go. Winter Retreat's the leader. On the inside, Bell Jar, Stormborn Thunder, Flaming Desire, Bint El Malak. Isla Mirada and Fire Fairy trying to get into the race. Winter Retreat's hanging tough, though, from Bell Jar. On the outside, Bint El Malak, but Winter Retreat's going to win it. Second will go to Bint El Malak. Third place, Bell Jar. And fourth to Ariana Spinner. Number 12 is the winner, and that's Winter Retreat. Winter Retreat, Shane Humby, Donovan Dillon, and they're rewarded for consistency as they go on to win it. And number 12, it's win number two from seven. It pays up 5.30 and 2.10. Second, number two, Bint El Malak, four and a place. Third to number six, Bell Jar, 260 a place. Fourth to Ariana Spinner, and that is number five. It pays up 750 a place. A nice quartet on hand. Then Isla Mirada, Fire Fairy, and American Princess. Then she's a rock star. So Winter Retreat continues to go here. Gavin L. Manza, and bred by Dr. I. R. Haynes, and they continue to plug away under Donovan Dillon and the winning of race seven. There's still an eighth and last to come. Back to the studio. But to say a big victory for Winter Retreat had the form but had that draw to contend with and would have a chat to Donovan Dillon and Shane Humby a bit more about this individual. She's growing with confidence and she certainly... Welcome back for the winning interview, number 12, Winter Retreat, the smart-looking daughter of Wada Winter. She's now starting to realise her full potential. And I think Donovan gave himself some credit for that ride. Yeah, I think he's just promoting himself to ride of the day. Mm. But it was a great ride. I mean, he got a beautiful position from the bad draw. And uh, what pleased me most about the filly is she went through with it today. You know, she normally gets there and kind of hesitates. And when something goes past her, then she runs on again. So, yeah, very pleasing. I thought it was a very good one. Well, well done. Enjoy the victory. Thank you very much. And good luck to Gavin and Shireen in Cape Town. Pity they're not here. But I'm sure they'll be very happy. Thank you. Donovan Dillon's coming in with the family, the new added family member. Now, I didn't pick you up in the early stages. Tell us exactly how you got across from the draw. You know, until I went into this race not knowing what I wanted to do. Um, I, one of the things I didn't want to do was drop, him, uh, drop her out. It was just the wrong choice. I elected to ride her as she comes out. She pinged the gates nicely. We filtered into a beautiful position. And uh, when the nice thing about this filly now, she, that she's got a bit more confidence, is she's running through with her races. Whereas when she was a little bit younger, she, you could only sort of get there on time. And today, she quickened well, and uh, she fended off nicely, and she won a good race. Well, well done with the ride. I'm going to watch the replay closely, and there's two up for ride of the day, so we'll see who gets at the end of the day. Thanks, Sheldon. This is a very big thanks to um, Shane and the whole team, Kalinda, all of them. And then to Mr. Almanza for keeping me on this fully. Uh, really appreciate all the support. Well done. Thank you.
Well, there we have it. And then Warren Inferno is going to hand over the 1,000 Rand token. And the winning groom is Virandura Dlamini. Virandura Dlamini, he gets the 1,000 Rand token. And we've got one race left on the card. Race number eight, the lucky last. We'll catch you shortly.